Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Stable Orbit, the realistic space station simulation game from Green Man Gaming. Stable Orbit is an early access game that's just had a big update, the Vector update, which has added a whole load of graphical and gameplay improvements. It's actually all the brainchild of one person, Jim Offerman, who was previously the lead programmer for the PC version of Deus Ex Human Revolution. In Stable Orbit, you get to build and maintain a new International Space Station in the near future. What shall we name our new space station? Well, I'm imagining that it's been named via a public poll, with inevitable results. So it shall be called the GMG Station Mook Station Face. Now here we start with our core module, it has a couple of solar panels that provide the basic power for the core module itself, but no extra functions or add-ons. See on the side, uh, the flags for the uh, nations that have sponsored it, the All Nations Space Coalition. These disks are connectors for uh, other modules of the space station and they're actually based on the real connectors on the International Space Station. Now we don't yet have any crew, so we're going to need a shuttle dock. So I'll select one of these connectors, go for the one at the bottom since it's facing the Earth, and if we go to the rocket ship symbol, see here, shuttle dock, for $1200 million. Now that will take a while to build, can speed up time, but uh, in the meantime, let's also build some solar panels. Go with a small solar array here, and another one here. That will provide enough power for the shuttle dock. Now we'll also need some living quarters for our crew to live in. If we go to the little person symbol, we can have a small habitat. And we'll also need to generate money. As you've noticed, all the things we're building are rather expensive. And the way you generate money on a space station is with science. You build a small lab. That's where the astronauts uh, will be paid by various, uh, various companies and organizations to do experiments that can only be done in space. Things like uh, zero gravity experiments on plants and animals and materials and uh, any other experiments that might require the, uh, the hostile environment of space. Now that we've all got that uh, ticking over, can speed up time. It's nice how when you're in the uh, night side of the planet all the uh, all the lights of the cities come on. Right, our solar arrays are nearly completed, and ah, excellent! Our habitat, our living quarters are complete. There we are, there's our solar arrays. Now they're completed, you can see that they, uh, they unfold and orientate themselves to catch the rays of the sun. You can see here they're generating 11 kilowatt hours. Ah, fantastic! A shuttle has just docked with us. Enrique Jennings, uh, Enrique Jennings and Manfred Ulick have joined the station crew. Enrique Jennings has been assigned quarters in the core, and Manfred Ulick has been assigned quarters in Hab 1. Ah, but Hab 1 has been vacated due to loss of power. The tricky thing about solar panels is they're no use during the night time. So the living quarters have now become depowered during the night, uh, making for a rather uncomfortable experience. Now to solve this situation we will need batteries, and another important thing that crew will need to survive on a space station is oxygen. We do, uh, we do have a week of air on board, but we'll need an oxygen generator to uh, produce some more. 
I'll stick that oxygen generator there. And I'll stick some batteries here. Our small lab is nearly completed. Fantastic. Now our crew can start doing science and generating some revenue for us. Ah! Heat! 187% heat! Yes, we're gonna uh, we're gonna start taking some damage from station overheating. Hmm. Now we've only got one connector still available. So I'm going to construct a node. A node is another uh, pressurized part of the station that the crew can move through that has several uh, more connectors for expanding the station. You can also build a truss, but that's uh, that's like a scaffolding. It's fine for putting uh, external things like solar panels on, but no use uh, for the crew to travel through. Wow, we definitely have got a heat problem now. We're starting to take a bit of damage. So I will attach a radiator to the top of the station. Now what's good is that uh, we're generating power and now that we have batteries we are able to store them. Uh, we are able to store power during the night. Uh, I don't think that's quite going to cut it. So, also build another couple of solar panels when we've got the money for it. We're at 380, 390. Thank you very much, the uh, astronaut doing the science there. Brilliant. Got enough money for another solar array. If we check the alerts over here, <laughs> Manfred has recovered from sleep deprivation. Yes, it's um, it's a tough life with the uh, with the power going out every night. <laughs> now let's see. Thanks to the oxygen generator, our oxygen situation is not too bad, but we are depleting water and food. So let's let's uh, use these connectors. Ah, yes, the other ones producing the solar array. So on this connector, uh, we'll need some water tanks. Ah, we'll have to wait to generate a bit more money first though. Okay, solar array is completed. That uh, radiator there is, uh, has brought our uh, heat situation under control. Still not great, it's in the red, but at least it's under 100%, so uh, the station can cope with it. Now, during the night, um, and of course we, are, we do still lose power, but um, we now have generate enough power during the day that we can um, store enough power to last the night time. Hmm, Hab 1 is taking some damage from overheating. Could repair that. I think it'll be better to save our money or, uh, for some water storage. Yes, let's build water tanks. Fantastic. Yep, our water problem is solved. And yes, we now have the money we need to build a truss extend the station towards the earth. Ah, a shuttle has just docked. Shuttle 1 delivered new supplies, food and water, but new crew members have declined to board the station due to low oxygen supply levels. That's the thing, our oxygen situation is fine for the current crew of uh, two astronauts, but uh, if any other astronauts were to board, then uh, we would start to get an oxygen shortage, so sensibly enough they're not adding any extra astronauts. Now we can solve this problem either with another oxygen generator or with some oxygen tanks. Right, a shuttle is docking at the station again. 
And this time, now that we've uh, built uh, some uh, oxygen tanks, we can actually have some additional crew. Winifred Umlath has joined the Cassation crew in assigned quarters in HAB-1. See the shuttle falling back to the earth there. The shuttle is a bit undetailed at the moment, the uh, game is still in early access. Going to uh, build another node to extend the station further, and then once the astronauts have uh, done enough experimentation to build up the cache, I'll build a secondary science lab, and then we can have two astronauts doing science at the same time. Because, uh, at the moment, only one astronaut is able to do experiments in the uh, one lab at one time. Ah, we are starting to get a food shortage. Now we shouldn't really depend on shipments from the Earth um, coming frequently enough. So I'm going to add a uh, food storage module uh, to uh, this node. Now the station um, can handle um, oh, 419 meals. Uh, one and a half months worth of food can now be stored on the station. And we can actually see the packages of food being stored on the exterior of the station. Now we are hitting 100% heat though. We might need to build another radiator soon. Here comes another delivery from Earth. Oh dear! Dock 1 is no longer functional after sustaining heavy damage. Immediate repairs needed. Oh no, this is disastrous! That means we don't get any uh, delivery of food, and yeah, you can see here the um, the lights on the uh, on the dock. They've uh, they've turned red. Oh dear! I guess uh, I haven't been paying attention to that heating situation. Dock one has uh, has become so damaged from overheating that it's inoperable. This means the uh, the astronauts are now stranded on the station, and they have to make do with the uh, food and water. Has been stored. It's a good thing I did that food and water storage. Otherwise, um, well, that would be a rather unfortunate demise. Right, I'm going to need to build another radiator right away. Well, it appears that I've made a bit of an error, as um, the additional radiator I've constructed doesn't seem to be helping much with the uh, the overheating section at the dock, and indeed. The new radiator keeps uh, collapsing back again to indicate that, um, well, that it sorted out the heat problem. So uh, yes, it appears the radiators only um, help with the heat of the the module that they're actually connected to, which of course does make sense. So there is a flaw in my station design. I should have had a radiator attached to the core module from the beginning. So I'm going to eject one of the solar panels and replace it with a radiator. Whee! So as you can see, running a space station, quite a complicated business. It's a uh, balancing act to uh, keep your air, water and food in supply for your astronauts, uh, provide them with uh, comfortable living quarters for them to, uh, to sleep and relax in, and also provide enough scientific facilities for them to generate the revenue needed to uh, expand your space program and create an ever larger station. Eventually you can build one with uh, massive solar panels, a whole bunch of laboratories and habitation quarters and uh, effectively end up with a, a miniature city in space. So yes, that's Stable Orbit, available now from Green Man Gaming. Thanks for watching.